There's this study that is pretty incredible and I want to share it with you. It's about trauma and Tetris. Yes, Tetris, the video game. Researchers took 40 male veterans with PTSD, half of them got standard EMDR therapy, while the other half got EMDR plus they played an hour of Tetris every day during treatment. Okay, but why did they play Tetris? It's because Tetris is a visual spatial game, which means it takes up a lot of mental space, especially visual space. And the idea is that if you're playing something like Tetris while your brain is trying to process trauma, it might interfere with how those traumatic memories get stored. Okay, so what happened in the study? The group that played Tetris didn't just feel better, they showed meaningful brain changes, specifically in their hippocampus, which is part of the brain that helps with memory and emotion. Their hippocampus actually got bigger, and in people with PTSD, that part of the brain is usually smaller. Why is this important? Because the more their hippocampus grew, the more their PTSD symptoms went down. There was a clear link between brain growth and healing. Now, the study wasn't perfect. It only included men, it was a small sample size, and they didn't compare Tetris to other games. So don't think of this as a miracle fix, but it's something promising. And it's something that is simple, it's cheap, it's fun, and it might make therapy more effective. What if the key to healing trauma was a puzzle game? A study gave PTSD, patients an hour of Tetris a day during therapy. Why? Because Tetris fills the brain's visual memory space, interrupting how trauma sticks. The results, a bigger hippocampus, the part of the brain that stores emotion and memory, fewer PTSD symptoms, brain change you can measure. This isn't magic, it's science, and it's low-cost, playful promising, because sometimes the brain heals best when you press start.